Hey guys, this is Joe Metalone, and today we're taking a look at the Pluralize Directive in AngularJS. Uh, what the Pluralize Directive allows you to do is change the output of that directive uh, based on a numeric value. Uh, so I'm going to jump right in here. I've got a quick HTML page put together. It's bootstrapped with AngularJS. Uh, so just to get things rolling, let's throw in an input and uh, see ng model equals, we'll call this player count, and then uh, let's drop our ng pluralize oops, into an h1 there. Okay, so what the ng pluralize takes is initially it takes a count, and so we're going to wire that to our player count, and then the next attribute it takes is win, and this is uh, basically a JSON format of rules, or JSON formatted list of rules of what to do. Uh, so there's two what they call plural categories. Uh, the first one is one, and it's basically what to do when my value is one. Uh, so here we'll say one player is, or let's say one person is playing. And then the other one is other, so other. And here we can, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm tapping into the count value. Uh, so you just drop in the curly brackets and Angular will interpolate that and drop that value into place. Uh, so this one will be, sorry, people are playing. So let's try that out really quick. Uh, load this up over here. So when I say one, one person is playing. If I say anything else, 50 people are playing rather than person. So one person, 10 people. Uh, now the other thing we can do is we can give it an explicit value. So let's do zero uh, and we'll say nobody nobody is playing. Okay, so let's try that really quick. So we do our zero, nobody is playing, one, one person is playing, and 50 people are playing. And we can take that a little further and say 12, uh, and here we'll say a dozen people are playing. Okay. And let's try that really quick. So now we got zero, one, 12. We get a dozen people are playing. And anything else we get, uh, you know, the value people are playing. Uh, so now the other one, and this can be a little tricky. So uh, the other attribute that this can take is an offset. So let's say I'm going to offset by one. Uh, that basically means my calculated value. Uh, so uh, by that I mean, uh, here, let's save this and refresh. And if I put in 50, my calculated value is offset by one. Uh, now the tricky thing about that is, uh, let's say I pass in, so if I pass in one, I get zero, which is to be expected because I offset by one. But if I pass in two, now it's saying one person is playing. And the reason it's doing that is this spelled out O-N-E rule uh, is based on the calculated value. It's based on, you know, essentially what this other would be showing in this position. Uh, so, to make things a little more tricky, let's do this. Let's say we have an explicit one, and here we'll, uh, let's make sure we identify this really well. So, one person is playing, and just so you can see, and I'm adding in all those there. And on this one, we'll say uh, player one and one other person are playing. Okay, so let's try that really quick. Hopefully this will make sense to you guys. Okay, so zero, nobody is playing. Uh, 12, a dozen people are playing. 50, we're getting back 49 people are playing, of course. Uh, but now when we do one, we get the explicit one person is playing. However, when we do two, we get player one and one other person are playing because it's the calculated value of one. Uh, so that's just, you know, one important thing to keep your eye on is that the ONE uh, responds to a calculated value of one, uh, and you could still have a separate explicit uh, rule based on a value of one. Uh, so there you go. That's a quick look at uh, Angular uh, or the the pluralized directive in Angular JS. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.